Right, uh, oh, morning. <coughs> bit cool. Not, the weather's not like it normally is. This day it's a bit colder. So I'm all wrapped up. Normally I'll be having my shorts on, everything now. Um, anyway, car. I'm going to get my car out of the garage. It's been parked up since December, beginning of December, so we're looking at five months. I don't know whether it's going to start. Um, I won't try it if there's no lights at all, but I'll have a go. I'm going to get the tyres sorted out, I need to get the tyres checked and I also need, probably need to get a good wash so we'll have a look and hopefully the dogs are going to probably jump all over it well not open but they will Hey, what you know? No geek. I was just thinking, I know what they're going to be after. I just hope there's no rats living in my car. I hope my car's still in one piece inside. Not the audience, I'm getting my car out. They know, they know. Filthy. Filthy. Absolutely filthy. Right, let's try and get it started up. Let's try and get it started up. First time start up, my baby. First time, see that, straight up. Five months, had a full service, and I popped it up in the garage. Still looks well for its age, doesn't it? I'm gonna take them lights off a minute. This is startable. Let it run a bit, uh, get the tyres checked on it, um, and I'm going to give it a wash. I've got my snow foam lance, got my bucket, got my wheel cleaner, tyre pressure gauge, snow foam lance, and my thing. So I'll plug it into here and hopefully uh, try and give it a bit of a, a clean. camera get a bit toxic in there bit, uh, <coughs> if you want to die just, just 
to get stuff locked in the garage with the exhaust fumes. some air in this tyre that rim that rim is the one I smacked in the old ear I smacked in the old ear and uh, I think it's got I think I've got a cracked rim it's done something to it or um, tyre I've got to get it sorted out there's lots I've got to do uh, Any rat shit. Stay to it. Not really. See how bad it is there. It's filthy. Don't want to rub it, don't grip because grit comes off the roof inside. Right, so I got this, um, I've had it a few years now, but I got this ring one. When I, I, I Google everything out of uh, um, best reviews on a lot of things. I'm not saying that they're always correct. But when I got this ring, this one, <coughs> should always have a, a pump. <coughs> really important to be checking your tires. So many people don't bother, do they? And the trouble is with these, what you, you get to learn with lorry driving is, um, a lot of these like pumps, especially at garages, petrol stations, and everything like that, they've not been. They need to be calibrated, and if they're not calibrated regular, decent garages will do it. But if they're not calibrated, all you're going to have is um, inaccurate readings. So you're either overinflating or underinflating your tyres. So you're better off getting a, a decent one of these, or or what I would recommend to a lot of people. And I'm not, you know, if you don't want to do this and you're scared of doing it yourself because the last thing you want to do is overinflate the tyre if you don't know what you're doing and let the tyre explode and rip your head off. Now I'm being serious, lorry tyres, they're just demolished bodies, people don't realise how dangerous it is. So what I do recommend to a lot of people who are, who don't know what they're doing, go to a tyre garage, just go to a tyre garage and just, you know, it might cost you a fiver, couple of quid I don't know what they're gonna charge you probably pound a wheel I don't know I really don't know because it's not something I've not ever done but for a lot of people who don't really know much about cars and women who don't really I don't recommend it if you don't know really know what you're doing um, just go there and let ask them to inflate your tires and check your tires over should be done you, you, you've got to be putting air in your tires I mean lorries is so important so 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 important people don't realize and it's dangerous if you don't under inflation over inflation so dangerous Thai people are, 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 are agree with what I'm saying um, I mean I've got that rim he's doing I've got to get it done I won't keep driving it like that it's got to be done it's losing air pressure and it's like um, what I want to show you here wait a minute 
Well, what I'll show you here, like on my car, this is where you'll have it in sometimes in your doors, but like on my car, it's here. So they love it in the garage. So look here. <coughs> They're my tyre size. That's not my car tyre size there. Mine's this one. 245, 40, 18s at the front. 265, 35, 18s at the back. Now, what they're saying is, if I'm carrying three passengers, 33 PSI at the front, 36 at the rear. Now, obviously, it is with it is with suitcases as well. That's with with somewhere you've got three suitcases there. People don't realise these are suitcases. So look, you've got five suitcases there. But what I'm going to say to you is like here, this is full, fully laden. So that's five people with obviously the boot full, and they're still saying they're saying 33 at the front, 48 at the rear. <coughs> now I spoke to a, I spoke to a tyre specialist who put these tyres on. And he said to me, always run your tyres at the full maximum, what it says on there. And that's what they've always done. I tend to, I tend to normally put about 33 and about 42 at the rear, I do. It depends. But you, you, you gotta be so, you just gotta be so careful, but you gotta be checking on your tyres. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check them, see if these tyres have lost air. But that front one would be really low. Put, and people have put the recommended tyre readings but people's are going to vary to what job they're doing if they're using the car for work you, you can't go by that I mean the majority of, my, of the time my car is, is empty when I'm knocking, if I'm knocking around Hungary but if I was travelling it would be on full like if I'm travelling to England the car would be on full maximum tyre pressure but I'll, I'll check that tyre pressure now So if you look here, that releases the air pressure, the overinflate, and it's just a screw, so you just screw it on. Wait a minute. So when there's my light on, the little lights on, turn the PSI. I've got um, settings on it, that's for air bed, tyres, and then you've just got your minus and plus. So what I'll do is, you'll see how low it is now. Take that off. Very low, look. 14 psi. Always keep these in your pockets because you end up kicking them and they go somewhere. So I'll put it onto that and let it build up. Get it up to 33. I, 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 when I have cars, I always tend to stick to the original wheels. Um, I always get the when I buy a car, I tend to buy the car with fully kitted out with wheels, everything I want on it. I won't start swapping wheels myself. It's a big business. A lot of people like aftermarket wheels. I'm not keen on them. I like to keep my car stop looking, but just tune the L out of the engine. That's how I am. It's not a bad pump this thing. Or <laughs> 24. light on it as well it's got a light here and then it's got connections for air beds and whatever else so it's a light here got a little light on the dogs are being bleeding the dogs are trodding dog shit right where I'm bleeding pumping the car up bloody hell nah no, you're alright I'm not getting mad with you only a bit of shit 
see you in a black yet. Why, why do you have to lie there? You don't lie there in all that horrible soil. Go with Kai in there, in the garage. Oh, look at this. Look at that corrosion. That's from the salt, because I've been driving, then parts it up dirty, the damp. Nothing I can't cure, you know. Wait till I get the foam spray on it. Don't feel it. Yeah. Yeah, third, eh? What I'll do is I'll put 33 in. Gives me that little bit of clay when I take the uh, valve off. I always put about 33 in. That little bit extra. Yeah, 32. That's that's 33. I ain't doing this really because you have to do it so quick. That's it, 33 in there. Well, to be 32, it'll set up. Put that bit extra in. Alright, fucking shit everywhere. Well, I've just cleaned up and then you've probably just been shit there. But That's one wheel done. Alright, babies. Yo, no, Nuggy. Don't knock the camera for God's sake, I've just had it repaired. I don't want my camera breaking. Alright. Oh, I pulled the cable here, have not I? One minute. I pulled the RPA here, haven't I? This one is reading 34.5. That's see, it's going quickly down, quickly. Let's get it up to 33. Alright, here we go. What's that one done? You see that, that, that rim? That rim on there, I think it's cracked. So expensive these wheels are. I won't buy aftermarket, me. I wouldn't even sell the car. Even if I was to sell this car on, if I looks, even if I was to sell this car on, I still would put original wheel on for somebody. I'd never put a, a I don't know what's up with the wheel. But I remember it's in this old and I've hit about three or four on the motorway and it really went with such a bang. It was absolutely horrible. So here we go. So what we do is pop this up. Now I've got it on my key, I've got a key fob as well, but I've, I've got a little button here. Just do that. Lifts it up. This is my uh, internet for the other ass. Two first aid kits. I've got a Skoda one. What well, I've had from one of my Skoda cars and I've got a Mercedes one. So that can get here in a minute. Obviously I've got a cargo net in there. I've got a 12 volt term um, supply. There's my Mercedes. Um, booklet and obviously I've got I bought this protection here this come from when I got that I got it from um, God bought it when I was in England it really actually come from Poland which is next door I would have got it dead easy if I was here but it's waterproof so it's ideal for dogs this will cut this normally would hook into there and then you've got the button to close it here You know what? They're not bad dogs these aren't, you know. They're not bad dogs at all. Look at them. What? <coughs> you see where I've, I've foam filled it there. I haven't cut it off yet. 
but that wood went across here, across that bit there. So, you know, I joined up to that, I put that on there to make it neater, and then it went there. And obviously, when we've had some high winds, it's blew it off. Luckily, it didn't, well, I took it off before it was hanging, took it off before it went onto my car. So, you've got asbestos roof here. Really, what I would have done. I'd probably put, I would have, if I, if I was staying here, probably put um, plywood or all that. Because <coughs> birds come in the holes and rats and whatever else. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, a kettle, microwave, anything what you've got electrical and you're travelling. You know, you can just plug it in your boot, you ain't yeah, got to mess about inside the car, keep your boot open. So, what they're saying here for the rear, you see they're saying 36. <coughs> so, I, I've got a, a piece of paper somewhere, what I wrote down some ideal, what I find the car runs well at, I can't remember where I put it. I actually think it's in that. Probably in that um, back for this. Hey, I see look. Thirty-four point five. So that hasn't lost much. So I put thirty-seven in this. and change places with Oreo. Here's Oreo thinking. <coughs> oh, is that star? No, it's star. See a star? You're getting comfortable. You like it in the back of here, don't you? So how are you going to travel to the other house? Hmm? Got my jet wash. We've got a quad cast. I've had it a few years now. That's never gave up on me. Um, I've got a... Uh, these aren't cheap. What they are, they've got rubber, plastic surround and rubber. Easy detailing. Anybody who knows um, proper car detailing will know that these are these easy ones from America are good. Plus, I've got this one. All rubber, rubbery, flexible. You can bend, you can bend it, you can bend it. So the idea of that is, you don't scratch your wheels. Then when you're going inside your wheels, you don't scratch it. Metal ones or anything hard, it's just going to damage your wheels. <coughs> um, what else have I got? Um, yeah, I've got some here. So I've got my wheel, uh, wheel cleaner. 
diluted it, diluted it, and here I've got some snow foam in here. So I'll connect that to the lens. I did a bit of a service on it because um, it wasn't spraying right. So I took it all apart. So I'm hoping it's going to be all right. I hope we'll probably do it water a squirt all over the place. But I'll get some uh, Bilbo Wheel Cleaner on it now. Let it settle. And get inside them, uh, get inside them wheels. Plastic, what goes around the when you adjust it, I cracked it, so water's coming out of it, which ain't good. So I'll probably get a new one. You can see it's loosening the the muck everywhere, loosening it all up, quite streaking. 
and it's all streaking so it's loosening the it loosens the dirt up you see that's why I like it look so when I jet wash it now to take it all off look you'll see you'll see when I jet wash it look, all loosened up
just want to say I'm probably going to have to move the car forward. The sun's really getting hot now. I'm, I'm actually hot. That's my parking light, by the way. My lights aren't gone. Um, I'll turn it off in a minute. So what I've, I've been doing, just washing the top and around the sides here. I'm going to have to rinse it. See how, how that sun's hot? No. This is why I like when I park the car up, normally I'd wash the car. But uh, the dogs are a bit hyper in winter. Where they're more lethargic in summer. Because um, on here, see, it's not took it off. I'm going to have to get my machine on that. I'm going to have to polish it all up. See this? This is, look, ignore me here. Um, this is what happens. Why? This is why you must always clean your car when it's filthy. Clean your car when it's filthy when you've been travelling. If you're not going to use your car for a while, or you're not going to clean it for a while, make sure you do clean it because this, what's happened. Now all this, I've got to polish all that out now with some chrome. Got to get some, uh, so it's got some hairs. Look, even on here, look, it's all pitted it. I've got to get all that. I had to do it before. I had to do it about two years ago. I've got the same problem here, so I've got to get all that cleaned. And the front end is bad, believe it or not, even though you think it would be. But it's still off colour. No, it's still pitted. So now nah, it's, it's alright, pain in the. Oh, I hate doing it. But you see, it's cleaner. But you can see it all on the grill here. All here. That's all pitted. I've got to get all that clean now. Everything with Mercedes badge. <sighs> That's why it's so important to clean your car. Don't park. Don't park a filthy car up for a long time. Just no good. The body works all right. I mean, even even it's still smooth. That's not even. Don't even need um, clay barring. Um, needs a good polish, but I'll do it at the other house. But all this, this all needs, all needs chrome. You know, I need some chrome polish on that. It's filthy. I've not dried my wheels yet. Get the cleaner. See a blacker. Hi everyone, the next day this is, this is Thursday. I'm gonna, I've got some uh, cleaner to try and get this off. Can you see it? Hopefully I can try and get it off. Right, you can see that. Can you see it? Just a minute. Let's put it down a little bit. Let's see. Well, you can see it, can't you? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and clean it up. And I've got this which is an Hungarian one never used it before but I will normally use auto saw which I assume it's kitschy well, it's a bit the same so what I'm going to do is put a little bit on really really give it a bunch of the old really open it's going to do it little bit on this. Let's see how we go. Really pitted. Oh, I hate doing this. Right job. See ya. Well, it's doing the job. It's doing the job and I'm really up there.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do off and then you'll see what it, we'll go to the Mercedes emblem. The dogs are eating biscuits by the way if you're wondering what the noise is. Hey babies. Yeah. Let's see ya. Bit pitted there. All this is just because I didn't clean the car before I parked it up and this is what happens and I get another bit of cloth on there Slip it. bit pitted there I don't like that, quite pitted Hey babies. Tell you what, take some scrubbing, I don't like that little bit there, that's really pitted there. You can almost, you can feel it. Might need a, a little get machine on that. There babies. Mmm, see ya. Get down the bottom of it as well. Alright, so let's just tell you what we'll do. Let's just have a look. And it's uh, still needs a little bit of work, but definitely, definitely. So you can you can see definitely worked. Obviously, can you just see it just still needs a little bit more work on it? If you look. But when you compare it to there, look at that. That's obviously how it was. So, it's a lot, lot better. The Mercedes emblem is the same. Look, the state of that used to gleam, that did. So, Get someone. Best to do this before I do give it a proper detailing, get my machine on the bodywork. I'm very, uh, it might seem a, a, a thing to some people, but 
you know, I've always, I've always been a believer in, no not matter what car you have, fair enough, like the, the Renault, if you've got a real car what's completely at it, and you really much out for it, it's really old or whatever, but if it's a car what's worth money and needs restoring, then that's different, not like the Renault, not worth spending money on it, but, but like this car to me, you still got investment in a car. So, to me, these little things matter, and this is what separates cars from other cars. Maybe that's why all my cars stand out. I mean, now this bodywork on this car, to me, this is filthy because I just don't just don't have any. You know, you can't see me, but I don't have any time to because the dogs and getting it out of the garage and everything. I'm not got the right setup now with all the dogs being separated here. So I can't, I've not got the freedom like I used to for doing things. But, you know, once you get your car done and you get a good layer of wax on the car or protection or some polymer on it or whatever you need to do, you'll find it's easier to clean, easier to clean. And if you put some detailing spray on after all, some protection, some good wax spray, which you can put on while the car's sort of a bit wet. It'll help your, your, your car stay cleaner and look better. I mean, that is, to me, I think that has done it. That wasn't too bad, that badge. It's like I don't know guys who who buy new cars and a garage will always say the car's been detailed, the car's been cleaned and everything. And I'll sometimes say to the garage when I collect a car, don't worry about the car, I'll clean it. Because I, I, I always, when I used to phone up about cars, I used to say to them, I used to say, um, all I want to know is, has the car got any scratches on it before I come to look at it? I don't want to waste a three hour, four hour, five hour journey to look at the car. They say, oh, it's immaculate. And I says, I'm being serious because I detail cars. I like my cars to be really clean. Now, as long as it hasn't got any major, no damage on it, no scratches on it, but the body were. And he said, oh, it's immaculate. And I got always, always go and look at the car. And the first thing I say is, yeah, it's fine. Need to proper good clean. I don't know where some of them, I mean, I think if you go to some of these really high-end garages, um, I think the only car I ever picked up, the only this was clean when I got it, but my R32 when I got it, got that from up um, near Bradford, and it was an a Indian garage, Asian, but they did supercars, um, did like one-offs and things. I mean, R32s were good cars in the day weren't crap cars and I tell you the car was really clean when I got it um, yeah and but I still I still have to clean it to how I like it so like I have to get all I have to get all custom mats made like you know all my cars because the mats are either no good or the original mats have gone you know I always get custom mats made things it's all them little things what make the difference I mean I don't clean I don't clean the cars like I used to because I ain't got the time Blacky, you are sick. That's pitted, that is. Can you hear it? 
can hear it. You hear it. It's like it's set into the metal. Don't really think I'm going to be able to do much with that. The only thing I'm going to be able to do with it, unless I get some grip paper on it, and then and there. But this is all because, all because I think clean the car before I put it away for winter. So it's etched, so this is where you have to be careful. Bit of salt. I mean, they don't put the salt on the road here like they do in England either. But there was still some salt. You can hear it, I'm not happy with that. You can get these new anyway. Get new ones. By the looks of it, it's probably going to have to come off so I can clean behind it anyway. better look at it now. So, uh, can you see it now? Completely different to how it was. Better. There you go. There we go. Look at the Mercedes badge now. That better, isn't it? You see how much cleaner that is. Yeah, better. And I just want to say it is hot. I've been in the house all day. I don't know why I've got this jump. It's a bit of a breeze here. It's been a lovely day. You can see the sky. There's some a bit of a wind. Now I've got to get this one done now. This is what I'm not gonna like doing all this. Little bits on here. I have to flick the bonnet. Get this badge cleaned. See how bad that badge is. So get the sun on it so you can see the the pitted on it. So there's no shine. And look at the grill. Quite bad, isn't it? Yeah, the dog's got paint on them. They did that wall.
Hey babies. Yeah. See you later. See ya. See you big boys. Hey biscuit. Good night. We can zoom in. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? The dogs reckon so anyway. What do you reckon? Can you smell rats? The rats been in my car over winter. They have, haven't they? They smell dirty my car engine is. Remember when I cleaned it? Could have been right driving in bad weather. Could do all this. All got to be done, make it all immaculate again. What's this? Oh, Mercedes service. Uh huh. Anyway, oh, they've had you've had your, your your nose on me, chrome grill. Yeah, looks cleaner, doesn't it? That looks better. Dogs have been on there. That looks better. Right, let's get this. Uh, hey, Nuggie. Okay. Let's get this emblem done. Oh. Yeah, I've got loads of polish on it because the dog, or I accidentally trod on me, too. There we go.
Obviously, I ain't got the autofocus is not on. Yeah, better. Better what it was. There's little little faint scratches there. I need really to get my machine polisher on it. But it's a lot better than it was. To get the machine polish on the car as well. See ya. Lucky. Oh, I've got the chrome done now. It's all done. A lot better. So soon I'll get the um, machine on the car. Give it a good polishing. Yeah, a cleaner. I'm going to pour it in. I'm going to lie down. A bit of sun. Right, everyone. God, my hair's gone mental. Oh, God. So, a bit of chrome cleaning for you. Anyway, see you all soon. Don't forget, like, subscribe. Comment if you have to, and uh, look after your car. <laughs> See you later.